Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to day 23 of 30 days of nine. After this guys, we have one more week. So today's gonna be pretty fast and short because I do have a coffee date with my mother. Yes, it is 8 p.m. but that's the best time to have coffee. So we're gonna be doing one more visualization today. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to make a bar graph in nine. And you guys, it is so fast and so easy. Prepare to be mind blown. So I wanna know, in total, how many flights are coming into each city in Florida from 2000 up until 2016, May ending? That's where this data set ends. It's pretty similar to the line plot where you have options to change the general plot area. You can give a subtitle, a title. You can label your category axis, your frequency axis. You can do so many things on here. And also the control options. You can enable options for your end user and you can also change what interactivity options they have. And of course, you can work with flow variables, which make things very, very dynamic and efficient in nine. Now back to this first page where I can configure the graph, I'm going to select generate an image because if you wanted to view this out of the output port or you want to export it, you need to have this option. And I'm going to select the destination sitting name as my category column. You have the option to sort bar bars alphabetically. Let's just go ahead and do that. And I want the aggregation to be the occurrence counts because I want to see how many flights are coming into these cities. You can decide to process table in memory, report on missing values, or include a missing values category. So I've made those selections. I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to run this. And we're going to go into the interactive view. And voila, here you have it. Here is a bar chart. Now, here's something that I really love about Nine, the graphing. See how here we can actually not see the full names of these cities? I don't quite like this. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on this. Plots horizontal bar chart. And boom, look, now we can see the full names and now this looks a bit better to me. You can see most flights come into Orlando, which is where Disney is in Florida. So maybe that's part of the reason why. And then going back here, since we enabled the appropriate options in the configuration, I can give this a, I can give this a title. So I'm going to call this, which city has the... So I call that which city has the most incoming flights. And um, honestly, I think when you're dealing with clearly labeled, when you're dealing with a clearly labeled Y axis and you have numerical, you know, logically numerical X axis, I think it's redundant to have a category and frequency axis label. But if you wanted to, you can call this city name and you can call this number of flights. So the option is there for data if that's your preference or if you have data that's, that's not as clear as this. But in my case, I don't think this is needed, honestly. So you do have more options here you can play around with. And that's essentially how you can quickly build a bar chart with nine. And this is something you can publish to the server so that your end users can have graphs they can work with and change and fun stuff like that. All right, that's the end for today. And I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to start talking about some nodes which are very relevant for the data science process. Thank you guys. Have a lovely night. Goodbye.